Hi, my name is Chris Jacobson. I'm the creator of Vallejo Historic Home Support. I made Vallejo Historic Home Support to help my friends and neighbors who had questions about their historic homes. And, and though this isn't a historic home question per se, many of my friends and neighbors have been asking me pretty much over the last six months. Uh, about six months ago, we had the California wildfires and pg and started turning off our power. Right now, it's uh, April 2020, beginning of April 2020, and we are right in the middle of the coronavirus crisis. And I'm still getting calls from friends and neighbors asking, you know, what happens if the power goes off? So what I'm gonna do today, uh, I'm gonna show you a couple different options, and we're breaking these down into uh, several different videos, one for each of these options so you can get the details. So this is a little power station. Uh, there's many of these, it's about 100 bucks. Uh, we're gonna talk about how much it can power and what it does. Uh, this is this is called a power inverter, and what this does is it lets you pull electricity off your car engine. Uh, we'll talk about how that works. You flip this on and turn it on. Uh, over here, this is another power inverter, sort of a smaller, and then maybe I would call this a medium-sized power inverter. It's actually hooked up to a deep cycle battery. And the last option, which I don't actually have an example of today, but I used to own one, and that's a generator. So we're going to talk about uh, especially the Honda EU generator series. They're amazing, they're ultra quiet, and they kick out a lot of power. It's a gasoline motor. So check the next video, and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna run through these one at a time.